How's it going? How are you? Uh, yeah, dead leg. Um, picked it up fairly early in the game, so um, luckily didn't get another bang on it throughout the game. So um, we've been looking after it this week and um, going to train this afternoon, and, and it feels pretty good, thank God. What has the mood and all the rest been like this week, uh, Connor, after that uh, Georgia performance? Um, it was realistic in terms of like we we know we we should have um, performed a lot better. Um, you know, the first half was it was really good. I thought the first half was good. We we wore them down. Uh, we had a few like few tries held up over the line, and things like that. And if if they go your way, the the scoreboard's very different at halftime, and the second half becomes a lot, a lot, uh, a lot different. So the first half was good, and then the second half we just um, we deserved not to score too many points in that half because. You know, like Andy said, um, you know, the, the Georgians deserve to slow down our ball. They made our breakdown really hard. Um, and we deserve, we got, we got, we deserve, deserved effectively. And, um, you know, we hold ourselves to, to a higher standard uh, and expect, expect to perform a lot better, um, especially given the, the way the first half went. So um, it was, the mood was, you know, we re reviewed the game and we, we were, we were harsh on, on each other and, and, it was the way it needed to be and and you know we we didn't shy away from it um you know players didn't um you know the coaching group didn't we all we all kind of uh fronted up and and accepted the mistakes and and moved forward because you know we have been going quite well um the way we've been trying to play has been has been really exciting and enjoyable and um you know if we had a, a good second half against georgia we'd be having a completely different conversation so um you know we 40 minutes kind of we're not going to let let that kind of keep us down for the week. You know, we've been doing a lot of good things. Yeah, they're they're a good side, and um, we've had, as you've seen over the last few years. I know we've we've won um, the majority of them, but they've been really close battles, and you know we've we've tagged on a few scores late late in in most of those games, and. Uh, they're always a really difficult side to play against and you know they have a few new fellas in there um exciting players and yeah look if 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 they had played against Georgia last week and and, and struggled to to put them to the sword if you will and we'd be we'd be more confident than, than we usually would so they I'm sure they are I'm sure they're um they're licking their lips and you know that's that's the challenge for us to to go out and um you know fix the the or right the wrongs from last weekend and and, and put it up to the Scots because they have no fear of coming to DV, but they always seem to put it up to us. It's a game they always play well in, um, and it's it's definitely a, a huge challenge for us. But like I said, forty minutes isn't going to dampen our mood this week. Uh, like I said, we've we've been enjoying camp, we've been enjoying the way we've been playing. Um, we've seen really good glimpses of it, so it's it's another chance to go out there and um, and show people. Yeah, uh, great, brilliant. It's um, it's something that I've um, you know processed and 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 you know working with Jameson and, and Marmo for years. Obviously, he's been he's been around for quite a while as well. Um, you know, it, it puts a it puts a bit more onus on you to bring out the best in yourself. Like like you said, it's been uh, it's been really enjoyable working with you know Jameson for the first time. Um, and it, you know, it's it's if it, it, it there's a new feel to this group anyway. Um, so you feel like you're almost proving yourself. Uh, all over again, and obviously with the added competition, it's um, it's brilliant uh, for me. I've turned it, I've tried to put it into a positive, and 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 you know, hopefully, it brings out the best of me. I, I felt good over this, over this tournament from the end of the last year's Six Nations and into this tournament. Um, I, I'm feeling good, and I think having that that competition, um, you know, p p you know, heightens your awareness or, or your competitiveness, and and you know, and relish the chances that you do get. How yeah? How's it going? Hi guys. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's definitely an atmosphere like that, I suppose. Um, 
in our last regime, I suppose, you know, we, we it was a group that was together for such a long time um, and things were really embedded and more often than not, everyone knew, knew what they were doing. Um, so it's, it's it's a bit of a different setup, um, especially with so many new players, you know, and, 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 and the older experienced players, sometimes it can be hard asking questions in front of a group. So I think the atmosphere um, for people to ask what they might perceive as a silly question uh, you know, there's no, there's no silly questions. People are really open about it, about learning and, and moving forward. And you know, because it's a new coaching setup, um, and we're still getting getting used to each other, I think it's it's a really good atmosphere to have in such a situation where um, people don't feel feel silly asking questions and you know and not knowing everything. Um, especially early in the week, you know, come the end of the week, um, nothing has changed there. The, the latter half of the week, people are still. Um, expected to know their detail, so there's a there's a flow to training. Um, but certainly early in the week, there's there's an awful lot of chats going on in in mini groups, um, you know, one on ones with the coaches, whatever whatever it may be. Um, there's an, an awful lot of conversations being had um, to you know iron out things. So it's good that way. You know, you, you don't go into a game guessing or or hoping that you know the correct line or the correct pass. You know, it's 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 more often than not talked about during the week. So it's um, it's hugely enjoyable. Uh, yeah, the, no, the walkthroughs were, were pretty stressful in the the pre-function area of Carton House, um, and that was another that was a, a different regime, and you know we, we won a lot underneath that regime as well. So there, there's a benefit to it. Like I suppose the previous question you asked about the the questions and and things like that, we were people are fine to stop and and say, look, I don't know the the line out or or is this my role or or whatever. So. Um, you know, there's, there's probably a little bit more of that. Um, people are probably a little bit more comfortable um, in asking those questions, which is great, especially because it's such a new group. There's a lot of young guys um, who, you know, might, might be a little bit nervous about asking a question or whatever. So to see people, um, you know, even maybe seeing an experienced player go, look, I don't, I don't know that call. I don't, I don't know the, the right line there. Can we go through it again? I think people are, are really comfortable in doing that. But it's not that... It's not a situation where it's okay not to know things come the end of the week. People, there's still pressure to, to get everything right, but it's, it's probably done in, in a slightly different way. Cheers. Cheers. Hello, it's Michael Coffin here. Um, oh, yeah. I'm just wondering, you know, given the way the last couple of weeks have gone, is there an increased sense of competitiveness for whatever starting jersey it happens to be, whether it's 1 to 23? I mean, are players aware that there's kind of a heightened. Uh, Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, you've, you've seen people have been been given chances and and and, and rightly so, and, and people starting in, in big games all across the team, the the whole squad. You know, people have been given chances, so um, you know, people people have taken and people have played well. Um, you know, there's there's opportunities being given, so the, the feeling around the whole squad is, you know, anyone could be given a chance any week. So you know, if you if you do get a chance. Uh, certainly, my mindset is if you do get a chance, you know you you really want to be ready to take it. So, um, you know, you make sure your your week goes really well, your 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 prep and and your concentration is right up there. Um, and I'm sure I speak for the whole the whole of the squad. You know, who are, and that that kind of branches out, and and that's infectious. That kind of energy, you know, when it, when there's a walkthrough or in team training, everyone is is really keen to impress and keen to to get things right. Um, so there's that kind of new energy um, throughout the group, you know, like I said, with, with a lot of new players, with, with, with a new structure to this, um, relatively new structure to this, there's, um, there's a massive competitiveness, which is, uh, which is only good. It, it's definitely only a good thing for our squad. Um, you know, there's, there's players in certain positions, you know, uh, with three guys who can, who can play, um, you know, play a role perfectly well. Um, so it's just about taking your chances and, and hopefully, yeah, you get the nod. Um, yeah, I, th- I think so. Yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a bit more free flowing. There's a, um, 
I think, you know, before there was still really good communication and, and really good things going on. I think maybe, like I said, it was it's just maybe a, a young player or an inexperienced player just being able to stop a walkthrough and be like, I don't know that, rather than, you know, maybe trying to trying to guess it and, and hope you get your line right. If, if someone doesn't know anything, it's... Um, it's okay to stop stop a walkthrough and go look. Can we can we do that again? Or or I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. So, um, you can feel it um, around the place. You know, especially in the in the high performance center here. There's you know people are having coffees, but they're having coffees in little mini groups. Um, you know, or, or with the coaches and and just trying to trying to suss everything out before before we get onto the training pitch. So it's um, yeah, it's definitely a little bit more free flowing. So just, just wondering, Johnny spoke yesterday about the frustration of not um, making progress on the training field and being camped but not getting out there on the pitch. Just wondering what gives you confidence that, you can, that this weekend is the, is the moment you can put together an 80 minute performance? Um, I think we've, we've reviewed the game um, honestly and truthfully, and I think. There's a there's an appetite in, in the squad to get it right this weekend. Um, I've said it in loads of interviews that you know they're small fixtures or we're very close or this and that. Um, so it's up to the players now. You know that the the coaches have given us everything we need to go out and, and perform, and it's about us executing. You know at the weekend it was a it was a matter of like executing a breakdown and getting fast ball or or, or or letting the Georgian slow it down, you know, things like that that are that are solely solely on the players back to, to, to get right and, and off the back of that being able to convert opportunities. There's just a um now we were annoyed at the, at the weekend that we didn't we didn't perform better and, and, and put more points on the board, even though Georgia fully deserved to be in the game, but uh you can just sense it as a playing group we're 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 frustrated with, with what we've shown uh, last weekend, and we, and we want to put it right this weekend. So um, that usually that usually um, leads to a, a much better performance when when the players take take the ownership and, and understand that, that it was on them. Um, and a lot of the fixes are are uh, are down to the players. So um, yeah, there's that vibe in camp this week.